So guys, welcome back. Now I'm gonna unbox the new Hatsune Miku figure from the game Hatsune Miku Project Diva Mega 39s, which is available on the Nintendo Switch. So first, let's take out the bubble wrap. So guys, now that I got the tape off, let's take out the box. So from the front of the box, as you can see, there's a photo of the figure as usual. There is SPM, and yes, this is made by Sega. SPM is super premium. There's a writing here. There's Jaya, as usual, again. And this is the Hatsune Miku Project Diva Mega 39s. This is the logo of the game, I believe. And there's the Sega logo here. On the left, there are some shapes here with a gradient color per shape. And there is also like the shape of the figure here in white color. There is her hair from the front. And there is also an SPM again. On the back, let's see from the top. There is Projectiva Mega 39s and some writings here. On the bottom, as you can see, there is some instructions that tell us where to put the hair and also this little thingy later on. Now let's take a look on the right side. It's similar to the left side, but this time there is some color difference, as you can see here. And there's also an SPM. So, on the top, there's basically nothing. There is the shape of the figure again, but in black this time. And there is Hatsune Miku Brazil. And let's see, on the bottom, there's nothing. So, let's open up the box. So guys, I have cut off all the tapes. From the box so let's open up and take her out from the box so what I can tell from the box it's she is pretty tall and pretty big I mean it's big it's bigger than the previous figures that I have reviewed so let's take out the stand first and then take her out after that so guys, here is the stand. Let's take it out. So in the plastic where there is a, the stand, there is the stand, of course. There are some writings in the back, like usual. This is the stand. There are some shapes here. And it's pretty big. It's as big as the palm of my hands. And there's also these little thingies that is used to hold up the hair. So let's open this up later and let's open up the Hatsune Miku figure. So guys, I have cut off the tape here and let's open her up. So first, let's take the hair out first. And the other one. And now, let's take her out. Take the plastic out. So guys, this is the Hatsune Miku Breath You figure. As you can see here, she is pretty big. And it's also hard to keep her on the camera. So first, let's just assembly her first and then review her after that. See you guys when she is already assembled. As I've put her hair in and also she in the stand and also this little thing. But I have a problem with the other one. This one for the one in this hole. Because when I put it on, as you can see, it doesn't reach the hair. 
so i'm kind of trouble with this one and i don't know what to do with it so let's just put that aside first and review the figure let's start from her top so in the top as you can see there's some roses as you can see flowers there are white in her hairs and there is her hair going down there's a gradient color so it's from light blue going more darker into the bottom so and also in the top there's her hands there which is wearing i don't know what is this called it's black colored with a white outline and also there's this little thing here so let's go down a bit and there's her hair on the front and there's also her face and there's no teeth here so it's only her tongue her eyes is not that detailed there's no like real detail and on her neck there is this little thing surrounding her neck to the back and there's also her headset for the mic so going down to the middle section she got this shirt on and there's also her body let's go to the back i can't really show you the back because the hair is getting in the way so i'm gonna review more from the front so let's move on to the bottom she wear this big thing there is kind of lacks detail as you can see here there's some problems with mine you see there is like some damage and of course this is from sega because the box was still sealed so yeah it's from the sega so i can't really do nothing about it but overall it's still good there's a gradient color from red to black and moving down to her feet she got these stockings or high socks which has a gradient color too from red into black there's also some add-ons here and this is her shoes there's no texture in the shoes in the bottom of the shoes but in the front there is these little shapes that is red colored and also in the back of her pants there's also these little things that has the shape and is long and it's not molded hard so you can like move it around a little bit so that's basically all from the figure i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a cinematic shot and i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching please subscribe like comment and share